Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. It is 10 after 9, Sunday morning, March 19th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I just want to do a quick little video on dispatching. Um, my company uses a mobile dispatching app, kind of like a lot of the trades people now do with, uh, do around these days now. Uh, a lot of people use Service Titan, House Call Pro, uh, Jobber, for example. Uh, relatively new platforms um, that are established and are functional. Some have their cons, some have their pros. Um, but I've been using a program called Service Pal. It only works on an iPad, which limits the devices and platforms. You know, if you're a die-hard uh, die uh, Android fan, well, maybe you're not going to use this. But regardless, forget about all that for a second. I've been using this app called Service Pal for over 10 years now with Pipe Doctor. And one of the main things that I really enjoy... Uh, about having an electronic dispatching and invoicing app and also payment receiving app as well. It's all integrated, by the way. And if you don't know that, um, we should talk. Um, as long as you have a customer cell number, you know, SMS uh, number in there, um, the system will automatically send them a text. And what I really love, uh, especially with a new client, a customer, for example, a new caller, should I say, um, when the proper information is entered into the system, you know, the homeowner, the end user, is going to get a text message uh, when the appointment is, is created. Hey, thank you for calling Pipe Doctor. This confirms your appointment for, you know, this time on this date. Okay. 24 hours before the service call, they get a reminder of that again. You know, and if you need to cancel to please call the office or respond back to the text, right, or scheduling issues. But what's really, really nice is that when I'm on the way, right, when the technician is on the way, um, the homeowner, the end user is going to get a picture of my ugly mug, right, saying uh, Mike from the Pipe Doctor is on his way to you. Uh, if you have an emergency and need to reach him, here's his number. All right. You also have, you get a picture of my face. You know who's coming. You're being reminded that I'm on the way. And this is what he looks like if you're a new customer. I think that really solidifies a brand new relationship that, hey, listen, this company means business. We care about your time. We respect your time. And we're going to deliver phenomenal service. That's going to set the tone for the entire service call right from the get-go. Most people, and I'm saying most, not everyone, most people enjoy that type of service and that kind of, and they see that value. But not everyone, not everyone. Another thing to keep in mind, when, um, I'm a little early for this service call, so I'm just dropping some video and I'm literally right down the block. Um, when you pull up to a, a customer's location, all right, let's say a residential setting, right? From the time that you pull up to the house to the time you ring that doorbell should be less than 60 seconds. You may say, Mikey Pipes, Mike, why do you say less than 60 seconds? Right? And by the way, don't if you're a smoker, um, don't be flicking the cigarette out the, uh, the window uh, when you're right in front of the customer's home. And matter of fact, you really shouldn't even be smoking you know, in route, you know, because it's going to be on your, on your clothes. It's going to be, you're going to have that odor. I'm just as guilty as this, ladies and gentlemen. I used to smoke for 20 plus years. I have not had a cigarette in over six months urge is gone. I would still love to have a cigarette. Yeah, of course. But the smell, you know, and when I, when I'm talking to someone and they had a cigarette recently, you can smell it on them. And it really, it's not too appealing. So if you're, a, if you're a smoker, extinguish the cigarette it, minutes, you know, at least 10 minutes before you arrive to the customer's location. You know, if you have the little wet ones, you know, or uh, hand wipes, wipe your hands off, you know, maybe give your face something like this, right? Get that odor off, off you. Cause it's, it's kind of disgusting. I'm just saying, right? And I got to tell you, not once, I'm just keeping it real, not once, but twice during my years of running service calls while I was an active smoker, two times did someone comment about that. Two times. And I probably went into tens of thousands of properties and homes over 20 plus years. 
okay? But those two times, I never saw him again. All right, back to the original question. Why 60 seconds to ring the bell when, from when you pull in front of the house? Well, primarily it shows that you respect the customer's time. At the end of the day, if you pull in front of the house and you're sitting in the truck on the phone, doing whatever you're doing, finishing your lunch, and your appointment is between 9 and 11, and you're there at 10 o'clock, and you're, having, you're eating in the truck, you never know. Chances are they're waiting for you, right? They're waiting for you patiently inside. You know, if you have a mobile app or you, they, they know that you're on the way, they're, they're probably peering out the window periodically and looking, see, hey, is, is Mike from the Pipe Doctor here yet? If I, if, if, if I open up, if I look at my window and I see Mike in front of my house, and he's sitting there lollygagging. It's kind of, you know, like, what's more important, him or me, right? So 60 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, from the time that you pull in front of the house to the time you ring that doorbell, that should be the duration of time, and it shows respect for the customer's location. While you're walking to their front door, don't make a beeline across the grass. Walk on the pavement, walk on the sidewalk, walk on the stepping stones, whatever. Don't walk across the grass, okay? It all it shows you respect the customer's property, right? And when you're at the door and you're greeting them, ask, is it okay that I park my truck there? You never know. You can have alternate side of the street parking. It could be garbage collection day. Maybe the garbage man won't pick up the garbage cans because you're blocking it with your truck. Um, but it also shows respect. Maybe they're expecting someone, you know, company, and you know, they need the spot right in front of their home. You know, in certain, you know, dense uh, communities, you know, like where I'm right now, um, you know, there's one spot right there, right? But I'm looking up and down the block, there's no spots except for one all the way down there. It just shows you respect the customer's property. All right. So text message notification that the customer, that you're on the way to the customer. Don't smoke in the, in the trucks. And then uh, as you're on the way to a job, 60 seconds and respect the customer's uh, time. You know, I, I interview a lot of, not a lot, but you know, I've been going through uh, some guys, you know, keeping it real. You know, we had Nick who got abducted by aliens, um, just disappeared <laughs> an hour into a boiler replacement job. We have Andre who I sent home in an, in an Uber, who ha claimed to have four years HVAC experience, but didn't even know how to relight a pilot. Um, unfortunately, Frankie fired twice. Um, totally disrespected my, me and my company by um, being disruptive in class, you know, at, at a, a training class down in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, but when I, when, I, when I do ride-alongs with people, you know, that's how I normally start, um, you know, like a post-interview, you know, in-person interview. Let's do a ride-along for, you know, a couple service calls, maybe even a day, a half a day, whatever it is. And I pay them for it accordingly, right? I want to see their demeanor and how they act, you know. Are they are they making a beeline across the grass, you know? Things like that, you know, uh, the values that a great HVAC technician is more than situational awareness and being observant of their surroundings, but it's having core respect for not only themselves, but also the people that they are doing work for. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy your weekend.